This is the CC Jensen offline fine filter, model HDU 1525. This particular unit is often used on gearboxes or hydraulic systems, uh, many oil applications, ranging from 50 liters up to maybe about 1,000 liters, which depends on the application and the kind of contamination. I'll go through the system components and just kind of walk you through an overview of this particular filter unit. Starting on this side of the unit, we have the suction port, and that is plugged directly into the pump for the unit, which is this lower portion connected to the motor. These motors are available in a variety of voltages to suit your particular needs. From here, it's pushed through. This is a gear type pump, pushed through into the casting of the filter housing. Uh, you may have a sample valve like this. This one also includes a pressure transducer. On this particular model, you might have a pressure switch, you might have uh, nothing there at all, or a sample valve that looks a little bit different, depending on, on the application. From here, the oil is pushed into the main filter housing. As the oil is pushed into the filter housing, it comes in contact with the filter insert. The oil comes in from the outside and is pressed through the filter, where it goes down through the core, to the filter outlet, which is located on the bottom. Uh, up here we have the pressure gauge, which will monitor the back pressure against the filter, and we also have the air vent. So as the air is displaced, as the oil comes in, it will push the air to the top, so you'll crack this open to bleed the air off. Once the oil starts to weep out, you close that off, and you know the, the filter housing is now full. This particular unit we can equip in a variety of ways. In this instance, it's on a one of our mobile compact carts, and this particular model includes a variable frequency drive which uses the pressure transducer to vary the flow so that you're always getting the optimum flow rate through the filter media. On the bottom of the filter housing, you'll find the drain port. So this is important when you're going to change the filter. You'll remove the drain plug. Once the unit is drained, you can then take the top nut off and proceed to change the filter. We'll cover a filter change in one of our other videos. So that's an overview of the HDU 1525 offline filter. If you'd like more information about it or to set you up with a trial unit, see what it can do for your systems, please do get a hold of us.